I'm Megan Arujo. And I'm Anna Arujo. And that's Carol Duvall. <laughs> and we're here with Win Creativity Knox live at CHA on the stage with our fabulous audience. Hello. Hi. So uh, we have been so honored to have Carol grace us with her beautiful presence today. And she's going to show us a really great, fun craft. So what do you have in store for us today? What your mother told me to bring. <laughs> Exactly. So we, we have a great guest, and her name is Amanda. Come on down. Hello, Amanda. And um, Carol is going to be teaching Amanda how to do this project as well today. And it can be found in her book, Paper Crafting with Carol Duvall. So tell us a little bit about what we're going to do. Well, first of all, it's going to take me a little minute to get adjusted here. Because this is a role reversal routine, you know. I mean, how many years did I have Anna as my guest showing me? She was going to make eight years. Now, she's Do you know how many me. episodes that is for me to watch? <laughs> a lot. Mom, okay. you're on TV again. Mom's on TV again. <laughs> no, uh, you're, actually, it was your mother, Miss Anna, who picked the, uh, the project out of the book because, uh, well, she just thought it would be big enough. Everybody would be able to see it. It's not some little tiny thing. And I said, it's a great project for this because it's very short, mm -hmm. it's, it's very easy, and it's really dumb. <laughs> you're going to love it, like my kind okay. of craft Now, project. I realize that anybody in this audience is already a crafter, so I don't um, have to worry about your ability to do this. What we're making is, I will show you. Now, this one was made for television, okay. which is why it's very attractive in its appearance. It's lovely. Yes. Lovely. It is a poof maker. A, a poof, poof maker. Yes. yes. We also That's fun. Poof maker. And those who've watched me all my life practically have seen me do this because I did it some many years ago, but I still have it because I still use it. That is a brilliant idea. Yeah. Do you have any idea? Yeah, you, you don't know what the heck that I means, do no you? Idea. Okay. Can you say poof maker? I can't say poof maker. She's not a toddler. Okay. Can you say poof maker? Now, here's what you're going to need, by the way, to make one of these. You can guess what this is? It's a well, shoebox. We have a whole table full of shoeboxes that you guys brought. But I have to have a match set of shoeboxes, so just nice. You're only going to need one. Okay. And I'll just show you, Amanda, that this is basically whatever size or shape you need. Actually, you just need a box with a top that's going to either come off this way or open up that way. Okay. okay. Now, the first step, and I'll give this to you, my dear. Okay. The second thing you're going to need is a... Toilet paper core, yes. yes. I've seen that now, before. if you don't happen to have one of those available, you can use, you know, that out of the aluminum foil or the uh, wax paper and cut, cut it, it down. Half. Yes, okay. yes. And you put it right on top of that. All right. And then you, my pencil, where did my pencil go? Or my pen? There it is. Okay. And in about the center of the box, and you draw around it. This is probably, no, this is. I was, I was going to say this is the hardest part, but it isn't. There's one part that's much more okay, difficult. It would, it would be a little less difficult if the pen would write. Well, <laughs> tell you what, I've gone to the next step. Well, anyways. Carol said it was an easy project. Oh, We've okay, got to stump you somehow. There you go. Oh, well done. Well done. Okay. Well done. Yeah. Absolutely. We're going to pretend it's more perfect. Then you would take <laughs> one of your craft knives and mm -hmm. cut that out. But we're not going to make you do that because okay. that's like watching somebody make paint dry, you know. Okay, but I, so look, I, I can't here's, do that, Here's I, I one. Could do that. I know you could do that. Okay. I could tell. You were <laughs> eager to do it. All right, great. But, and this, by the way, I did cut a little larger. To, so that you're not squeezing it in. Exactly. Okay, great. Oh, she's good. good. Yes. I'm crafting. I think I am not. probably been looking at things. Now we're going to need some circles. And I have a bunch of them here just to show you the variety. Um, I cut most of mine 12 inches. You can make them smaller depending on the end product. These um, are, uh, you know, the, uh, the tooling, the tooling mm -hmm. that you get in the fabric store. Or they can just be tissue paper. Tissue paper. Or you can do, Ooh. I love this stuff. Those you know, are Ooh, Ooh, that's like nifty, that. you know. Or the mylar. Now, you see, I have some that are smaller. <laughs> These are only about six inches, and this is a nine inch one, et cetera. Now, here's, I'm going to give you one of the big Nile. Ooh, summer yes. paint. Ooh, summer like this. These are for commercial. I actually bought these. Okay. But if you're going to make a bunch of these, you make your own. You know that. So <laughs> you put this so that the center is about over the center of that hole. Okay. okay. And we're then be, a poof. because, exactly. Okay. Now we want to have a little more, a little more poof to it. So we're going to give, okay. I'm going to give you two. Ooh, two. Oh, now <laughs> you take your cardboard core, okay. push it down about oh. halfway through. This is why also oh, you also need that hole see, a little bigger. This is so oh, cool. There you go. Now it's coming you together. pour some candy in there. Oh, 
Yes, yes. Really not the whole going. bowl. Okay. Just, now this is a, this is something that's going to take a little. I just don't want yeah because I don't want pick it up and dump it in. They're going to fall to the side. I'm, I'm, I'm too, I'm like a professional. Well, no, them if they fall that's to the good. side. Okay, okay. okay. What you really doesn't okay. matter, I'll still okay. eat them. So, okay. uh, she's doing very well, considering so she really doesn't have a clue what this is supposed to be. Okay. Okay. I'll, now I'll assume the, that maybe we take this out. And, now okay. you're going to actually, you're going to, yes. Now you have to get a little clever with ambidextrous. Push, the, pull that up. Go down underneath with your third hand. Oh, okay, okay, I got it. Pull this out. Whoa. Oh. Now you see. Now I'll tell you what, I have ribbon here, but you're going to do it much quicker and easier for the audience if you just use a twisty. I actually use twist ties for everything. Well, there you go. And then you can put a nice ribbon around over that. If you know. Now, the thing of it is, you can probably make these a lot quicker just in your hand if you're making a couple. But if you're making a bunch of them for, uh, and this is where you have to practice to see how much candy you're going to need in there, how big a thing oh. you, you, know, you want around. You might want to put a little more candy, or maybe you want more poof, the way you're doing it. I think you've done this before. You're just I, too I, I, She's really good. One thing yes. you probably got to want to make sure, too, is that you don't make it crooked, because I think mine's is a little crooked. And I'm, well, I'm a little you know angle, what? So I got to tell you, <laughs> I belabored that so much. And if it really is terrible, you just cut it off instead of doing it over. <laughs> That's something I would do yes. also. <laughs> but you know what? Up here, this looks like it's pretty darn perfect. All right. There we go. There pretty we go. perfect. That's okay, it. How we do? And there, oh my gosh! I think that's worth a round of applause. Yay! I really do. I made a pop. <laughs> it's a pop. And see, and truth is, you know, you could make a whole bunch of them really quite fast. And here we'll These get. These are good for weights too, like like yeah. balloon weights. You'll think of lots of things to oh, do for it. Okay, now this cool. is one that's made like this would be pretty on a, maybe on even the bridal table with the. Uh, with the, the almonds in there that they always oh, have and you wedding. Do, like, the netting with the potpourri? With, yeah, the and, potpourri but now satchels? these are some that I bought at, at a craft store, and I don't think they're really big enough. They're very pretty, but these are the 9-inch ones. You, you really like the 12-inch circle. The 12 -inch you would circle. get a short poof. Yes, short poof you and not very much poof. candy. Now, okay. there's something else you can do with this. This is all not right. all. Any craft is going to think of a bunch of things. Pardon me? It gets even more exciting? More exciting. Oh because my God. I was shopping in the gift wrapping department and I saw this. And I saw this little flat thing on the back. And I saw the price of $2.25. And what you do is you pull this off and there's tape there and you put that on a box. So I made one in our poof maker. Oh. And I put it on. Now, what you do in this case, instead of candy, I was wondering you what just put a little cardboard circle in there. Oh, inside. In, instead inside of candy, the, and you, 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 you put the, the, the oh, poof up here. Oh, can we make here. one really quick? Yeah, you could probably make one. You did so well on that one. You would probably want to use the smaller ones, right? Well, actually, it depends on the size of your gift. Oh, yeah, a big box. But here's, here, here's a little one that I did. But you've got to be quick. Here, let me see. Well, you know what? You would need here, a bigger circle here's a smaller yeah. one. Oh, there we go. There's, yes, you can make the bigger circles. That's it. It's very versatile. Very versatile. You, you push it through and do the same thing. And if you want more stuff, then what you do is you, of course, put two layers. See, this one's a little crooked. I wasn't as perfect well, you, this time around. You, so we're, we're well, you, 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 let, a little, you, you know, you let a little success go to your head is what I, you did. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, I love, love it. Me. <laughs> <laughs> But see, this was made with just to get ordinary tissue paper with a thing like that in a smaller circle. And as opposed to two and a quarter, a quarter for this. There we go. Okay, there so we're go. just going to imagine it looks more like yours. Absolutely. And nice put a couple of layers of Carol of gave this. me such a bad time about picking this project out because she had like a really cool project in the book. But I thought this was really fun. I like the poof maker because everybody just favors and, uh, you know. Yeah, there really are. There's so many ways that can you be. I don't even know about the bow thing. And that's like, you know, icing on the cake. Plus, <laughs> poof maker really cool. is really fun to say. <laughs> and we have to keep my attention, so we go for poof maker. <laughs> Now, I don't know how long you're going to go on this, but I had one other quick thing if you oh, want me to show sure. It. Okay, you know, always come prepared just in case, in case you get a little more time. Now, you're this is another one. For you. And, I, and I, I don't really have the work for you to do on this one, Amanda. That's okay, but, but I'm going to watch. I'll speak slowly. Okay. So, <laughs> actually, what these are, are frames that I made for little photographs. Very cute. And who's that in that picture? Um, I don't know, one of my friend's kids. Uh, the 18? 
Anyway, this idea came from a viewer. It's so many of the good ideas that I had came from a viewer. And unfortunately, I don't know this lady's name because this was way back when I was doing the home show. And she oh, yeah. sent me this. So this little girl's probably married and has three children by now. But anyway, <laughs> these are all made from greeting cards or note cards. Now, there are oh. some of them, uh, as you know, that are just as this one was, just automatically. The picture in there or the greeting or uh -huh. whatever it was. But you can use anything just like this. And what I do is take the size of my picture and cut a piece of paper. Well, that one wouldn't work on that because it's too big. But, you know, you go around and see with your different cards, get a visual image of what it might work like. Some of them already have, circle, have, have squares on them. That would make a cute frame. This is one of my absolute favorites. That was great. I love this card. And I actually have this picture up great. in that frame in, in my craft room. You that's... know, and Carol, you were green before green was even popular. <laughs> you, were, cause you, you have been doing recycling and repurposing forever, and now they think it's like this new trend. Carol, you invented it. It was green. <laughs> you know, it wasn't that I was clever or anything. It was because I started doing this stuff before we had craft product, product, right. Right. And products yeah. and craft stores. So I had to use what I had in, you know. I mean, I was the queen of the milk cartons. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> Bleach bottles and, as, as I've said before. Oh, absolutely, yes. <laughs> well, make Carol, sure thank you so much for all these fabulous ideas. I'm sure we can all go home and make some great little poofs. After you buy the book to see them. Oh, yeah, hello. hello. The book. Hello. Buy the book. We'll the book. <laughs> well, thank you so much. And you know what we say when creativity knocks. Open, Open the, the door. door. Thank you. Thank you.